people were killed. It's a crime some people say stole the innocence of McKinney. CBS 11's Marianne Martinez is live at the Collin County Courthouse with what's happening now. Marianne? Karen, the jury started deliberating about three hours ago, and right now they are still deliberating. Dozens of friends and family of the victims are inside the courthouse right now. They are hoping for a verdict today. After almost five years, the families of four murder victims say they are looking forward to some closure. In March of 2004, Rosa Barbosa, her nephew Mark, and Mark's friends Austin York and Matthew Self were found dead inside Rosa's home. Prosecutors say the defendant, Raul Cortez, and an accomplice, Eddie Williams, robbed her to gain access to the check cashing store where she worked. The three others had walked in on the crime. During this last day of testimony, Cortez took the stand in his defense, saying, quote, I don't know who committed those murders, but I know I had absolutely nothing to do with them. Well, we don't believe that they proved that the defendant was there. Uh, we don't believe that they had anything to do with this at all. The prosecution says DNA evidence and ballistics link Cortez to the crime, pointing out that a bullet found in the body of one of the victims matches a bullet inside Cortez's home. Now, if convicted, Cortez could face life in prison without parole or the death penalty. And if there is a verdict, we will bring that to you live on this show or CBS11TV.com or tonight at 10. Levin McKinney, Marianne Martinez, CBS 11 News. An update now in the case of a...